Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of British pound, US dollar, GBP, USD for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other currency pairs. So let's get started. So this is the 4 hour chart of British pound, US dollar, GBP, USD. And you can see that I have got uh, two lines here in the form of support and I have this trend line here in the form of resistance. If, we, if you just observe the chart, then you can see that this chart looks somewhat similar to the chart of Euro USD. But the chart of Euro USD is much more complex and confusing in comparison to this chart because the chart of GBP USD looks much more clean. So let's do the analysis first. As we all know, after the FOMC meeting, dollar fell sharply and currency pairs like GBP, USD, Euro, USD saw heavy selling pressure. And the good news is that GBP, USD just bounced from the closing price of the previous week. When market fell sharply, uh, it closed at this particular price and at the starting of this week, market did bounce from this particular price level only. Therefore, this is a clear indication that market is trying to form a support here or market is trying to respect this particular price level as the support level. So this level is important for the market right now. On the other hand, we have another support here, 1.3684 level. So this is the support 2 and this is the support 1. And, and to show you the significance of this support levels, I need to take you to the weekly chart once. If you have watched my previous videos, then you know it pretty well that I'm a fan of multi time frame analysis and especially the weekly time frame, the time frame of the big boys. <laughs> Let me remove the drawings. So you can clearly see on the chart that after this red candle, this massive red candle on the weekly chart, the market took support at this particular price level. And you can see that th there is a support level on the weekly chart. And as we all know, support levels and the resistance level on the weekly chart are very crucial and important because this is the time frame of the big pairs. Apart from this pivot support, we have another support here. And these, uh, and these two are these important support levels for the market right now. Apart from these two support levels, we do not have any proper support on the GBP USD chart. As we all know, after the huge fall in the market two weeks ago, there almost all the support levels were shattered and right now market is trying to form new support and support levels. So let's switch to the four hours time frame and let's see what should be a strategy for Monday. So we are back to the 4 hours time frame again. So this is the support 1 and this is the support 2. And as we all know right now that these two levels are very important because this support level belongs to the weekly chart. So what should be a strategy for strategy for Monday then? You can see that right now market is trading here. And as we all know, we should not trade in the middle and before executing any order, we should always look for the area of value. Area of value means the best trading opportunity or the best trading spot. So if you go ahead and buy here right away on the on Monday, then if you buy here, here, then you can, your stop loss will be here. And you can see that market has a resistance here. Therefore, your risk to reward ratio does not match. Therefore, you cannot go for buy order. And if you short the market also here, then still your risk to reward ratio does not match. Therefore, right now market is in the no trading zone. Therefore, you should not trade in the market as long as it is trading in the middle. We should wait for the market to come to you. As I always say, do not chase the market. Let the price come to you. And as I have clearly explained in my previous videos, that 50 moving average will be acting as a resistance for the market and we clearly saw that this week when market tried to recover market tried to uh, bounce from this particular price level okay it faced resistance from the 50 ma price struggle and ultimately price fell therefore 50 ma is a valid resistance for the market 50 moving average and right now the trend line okay the trend line has also joined 
therefore we have got dual resistance for the market right now in your charting platform you can also draw this trend line in the four hours time frame so market has got trend line and the 50 moving average on the upside and a support from the weekly chart on the downside therefore market has got two important levels on the up as well as down level therefore it will be fun <laughs> anyways what we should do on monday then so after the market opening on monday just observe the price where the price goes and where the price how the price reacts if price starts coming down do not short the market okay let the price come to you okay when market will hit this level when market will hit this support level then just observe the price if you see that price is bouncing back from this particular price level or if you see that market is about to bounce from here okay, then you can go for a buy order you'll get a confirmation in the form of a hammer pattern or price rejection from below once you get a confirmation that yes this level is a valid support this level this 1.3796 level is still a valid support you can go for buy order on the other hand, if, if it crosses this level with great amount of volume, then that's a different chapter. I'll be discussing that part on Monday. Okay. So, so in case market bounces from this particular support level, then you can go for buy order. On the other hand, if market starts going up from here, because you can see that stochastic RSI is in the oversold zone. So there is a possibility that market may go up also from here. So in case market goes up also, then also you just need to observe the market and let the price hit the resistance level so wait for the market to hit the resistance level and just wait for the perfect opportunity so when market will hit the resistance level just observe the price try to read the chart try to read the market emotion if you see that 50 moving average and trend line is acting as a resistance and they are not allowing the market to go up if you see price if you see the price struggling at the resistance then you'll get the confirmation that yes market does not have the strength to go up and the resistances are still valid and they will not allow the market to go up if you see price struggling near the resistance level then you can short the market and in case market crosses this level the this level this resistance level then do not go for buy order i'll be telling you on monday what you need to do but as of now, these two are the best trading opportunities for you on the GPUSD chart. Short the market at the resistance and go for buy order at the support level which belongs to the weekly chart. Apart from this, keep your eyes on the DXY chart, the US dollar currency index chart. I have clearly explained on my early, earlier videos that US dollar will try to go for uh, US uh, sorry US dollar will try to pull back okay US dollar will try to uh, go up after a pullback and after this mass three massive candles it did go for a pullback and we, right now we can see that it has formed doji kind of patterns with a uh, huge price rejection from below therefore US dollar is not in a mood to go down further rather it is uh, trying to bounce rather it is trying to go up and looking at the present chart setup of US dollar, there is a good possibility that it will go up until and unless it reaches this resistance level 93.35. Therefore, if US dollar starts uh, climbing towards the upside, then GBP British pound will go down. Therefore, keep your eyes on the US dollar chart as well. So let the market open on Monday and then only you need to trade according to the movement of the market. And as I always say, do not compromise with the trading discipline. Do not trade in the middle. Let the price come to you. Let the price come to you. Then only go for the order. And do not compromise with the area of value and the risk management. So this is it. Hopefully you have understood. If you have liked the video and found the video informative giver, Thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care. See you on Monday again.